In BNI, when we've got our open networking, it's good to get here on time, it's good to be early, we get to meet people, we get to see people that we've not seen before. <laughs> Yeah, 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 no, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm in a room, people are looking at me. I think I might possibly have to, just hang on a minute. Do you want me to do something? What am I doing? Uh, just do the education slot, just oh. three minutes would be great. Oh, I think I'm late for doing this education slot. Seven minutes past seven, I'll have to go. See you in a bit, tra. Being late. Is it a good look for you if you're um, running a business or meeting people or trying to create a first impression? DB, would you be late? DT? <laughs> I got stuck behind two lorries this morning trying to race each other down the 556, which wasn't very good. So I've just made myself some little notes because at this time in the morning I can't remember even who I am. I've not had enough caffeine. So. The importance of being on time for um, us as business people, when we come to BNI or we go about our daily business outside of BNI, um, being on time is important. It shows that we're professional. It shows that um, we're aware that the other person that we're meeting has got something else to do as well. So it shows that um, our behaviour reflects we're going to be trustworthy, we're going to be reliable, and hopefully we're going to be consistently punctual unless we're stuck in traffic. So this morning for me, when I was sat at the traffic lights at the top of Kelsall, I thought there's no point in going in the outside lane, there's one lorry, until another lorry came behind and decided to squash me between two lorries. Then I was thinking, how can I do an educational snot on being late when I can't get past two bloody lorries on a clear A556 going 30 miles an hour? Anyway, um, I got here just about by the skin of my teeth. So another thing that being late um, also helps with, and this is one of um, what we'll, Gail will like, is it reduces stress. So there's nothing worse than walking into a room or a meeting or anything um, and you're late and you're flustered and you're searching through your bag or whatever and it's all like, oh, hi, Ollie, I'm late, sorry. Oh, yes, I'm there's nothing worse. So it takes the stress out of it. Improves relationships. So um, being on time improves relationships and you think, it's a bit strange. Why would it improve a relationship? Well, that person knows you're going to be on time, hopefully. If you're not on time, as Dave said, you've got um, traffic or whatever else. But it also, um, for the other person receiving you being on time, it shows that you respect them, you respect their time, as I've said before. And it makes you look good. It gives people a good perception of you. They know you're going to turn up on time. And um, one of the sayings that I've... Um, grabbed from Gail, Darren and Zoe, is how you do anything is how you do everything. So if you turn up on time and you're punctual and prompt, it shows that that's how you go about your business. And also, it's, it frees your time up. It keeps you on schedule. If you're working to a schedule and you're in your time frame, you're doing what you're doing, you're kept on schedule as well. So I hope that that little um, talk about being late um, and keeping to time is, has been useful. It creates a positive image, but also in BNI, when we've got our open networking, it's good to get here on time, it's good to be early, we get to meet people, we get to see people that we've not seen before, or we get to reconnect with those people that have been before and then have gone off and done other things, like you're in another chapter, you're here for Paul, seeing you two weeks on the run, but might not see you for another month, might we? So it's good and you get that time that you might not get elsewhere. So, Thank you. there you go. I hope that was... <laughs> okay.